I'm Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop. Um, I said in an earlier video that I was going to try and make some Christmas gifts for people and that process is continuing. I bought some slate coasters. They're really cheap, they cost about a pound each. They've got a riven natural finish to them and rustic on the outside. So I'm going to try and engrave some appropriate images on them. Appropriate to the people who are going to receive them. And the first one I'm going to do is for our vet who's looking after one of our dogs who has a long-term illness. And she's a lovely, lovely person, a great vet. And I noticed the other day that she was using a, a CD or a DVD as a, as a drink uh, for a coffee mug, as a coaster. So I'm going to try and make her something that's a bit nicer than that. Join me in the workshop. So this is the, the designs I've printed out. <clears throat> I thought I'd try these on the coasters and the one I'm going to use is this one here which is a really nice image of a border collie in a kind of typical border collie sheepdog pose and our vet she's heavily into border collies um, almost obsessed by them I would say in a very nice way so that's the one I'm going to try and use and I've printed them out on the sticky backed printable vinyl paper and we're going to see how this works out. So the first thing I'm going to do is obviously cut out the outer. I've made these boxes 90 by 90, which is slightly smaller than the coasters themselves. And this particular drawing, I'm going to have the dog raised in relief. So I'm going to be working around it and taking out this area as background. And I'm going to put round it a kind of ink block type shape rather than trying to put round a, a perfect circle or a perfect oval. And then I'm going to try, I'm going to cut it back, um, not very deep, probably a mill or two. And um, then try and texture this background so that it looks different from the riven surface. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave sections of the outer edge where I'm not going to cut through and on the dog. There's a few sections I'm just going to leave and hopefully that'll just leave the image in place while I position it and then I can just cut those out when it's in place and stuck onto the slate. You'll see how that works, if it works at all. <laughs> so I'm cutting right through the paper and the backing. And ultimately, the only reason for doing this is to give me a guideline. So I could do it in other ways. Now there's the bit I'm just going to leave in place. And where we get these jaggedy bits, I'm just going to leave those smooth. I'm going to cut around those smoothly and create the jaggedy bits in the engraving. Because otherwise it would take a week to cut out the image. The other way of doing this is what I've done before, which would be to print it on thin card and cut it out. And just use that as a template and draw around it. There's another of the places where I'm leaving it not cut out. When I've tried this before, the grinder chews up the plastic <clears throat> and makes it not very easy to follow the line. I'm hoping to avoid that by using finer bits and cutting round it as an outline first. We'll find out. Every time I do something here, I seem to be doing it for the first time. <laughs> Which is really, for me, I guess, the point. Well, it looks like it's through, except for those three or four bits I left. Yeah, I think that's it. So, let's get me a bit of slate. And because it's cold and it's been stored in the workshop, I've left it on the heater just to warm up because in my experience vinyl sticks better to warm material. 
Now all I've got to do is weed off the back. I think I should have left more of it uncut. Because I should have left a bit on the back there. Never mind, it's the first time. And I think it does work. I just should have left more of the um, the bits I left out, you know, that weren't cut. There we are. It does work. Yeah. There we go. And because the slate is nice and warm, the vinyl is, you know, moulding to the slate quite nicely. Now I've got to do is weed it out. Okay, and there we are. It actually does work that. I think next time I'll do it better. So what I'm going to use for this, I think at the moment, is I'm going to use my Ferrex grinder with the flex drive because I'm finding that really nice to use, uh, far more controllable. And I'm going to use these very the two finer sets of, of diamond burrs I've got in the hope that I won't be too much tearing up the plastic and I can get into these little areas. I'm going to cut an outline round the outer edge then having had that bit of practice I'll cut the outline around the dog. It's going to be noisy I'm going to be wearing my mask goggles and my extractor is going to be running so no more rubbish chat out of me you'll all be relieved to know but I'll try and film all of this and speed it up so you see the whole process. I'm not sure if I've got enough memory on my camera, but we'll soon find out.
Well, I think that's as much as I'm going to do. Um, that's <laughs> a moment of truth. Let's peel the plastic off, the paper thing off, and have a look. in a very strange way. There we go. Sorry. There we go. That's actually quite nice. I'm going to wash it off and uh, then let you have a look at it once it's washed off. Right, so that's it. Washed off. And I think it looks okay. I'm quite pleased with that. I think next time I do one I'll try and do it deeper just so it stands out a bit more. And just practice a bit more with these little tools, especially the smaller ones. I haven't used them much so I think I needed a bit more practice with them. Using the vinyl, printable vinyl, worked really well. Next time I'll make sure that I leave more, a few more bits where I don't cut through because I think it'll weed off easier um, but it actually worked really well and uh, there you go I've got a few of these to make I'm going to try various things different styles of engraving different types of engraving I want to try and color fill some of them and uh, we'll explore those ideas in later videos but for now thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed watching um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. I quite like those. If you want to see me try out other crafting ideas on stone, slate and marble, then please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching again.